we're live. Welcome everybody, my name is Laura Hall and you are on the Come Cook With Me show. And I just wanna say thank you so much and I wanna start off this evening with, or this afternoon, because we are on time. <laughs> so what a great way to kind of end this year's shows and being on time. So if you are new to the show, I would like to say welcome. And what we love to do in our community is say, hello, who we are, where we're from. And if you hit that beautiful button that's got hearts or likes, I certainly appreciate it because it just shows me some love and that people are actually online. Although I can't see it because I'm using the Mevo camera. But happy holidays because this is a holiday cooking show. And this month we have been dedicating recipes for side dishes. So today we are gonna make a completely dairy-free as well as just a regular traditional finger lean potato recipe. And I know you're wondering, where is the recipe? And if you are a follower, we're gonna go ahead and get our pots started. So we wanna hit saute. So I'm gonna do that before I continue on. <laughs> so I wanna hit the saute. Um, hold on one second. Start and saute on this one. There we go. And they're heating up, perfect. Okay, so while they're heating up, um, we this recipe is just gonna be so flavorful. It's a beautiful holiday side. They're getting started, this is perfect. It's a beautiful side holiday dish to share with your family, whether you're gonna do it for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It's just a beautiful, beautiful recipe. I think that you're going to love it. So. Again, we have been coming live to you almost, we're, we're getting close to uh, almost two years of having these live shows. So we are so thankful and I'm so blessed to have you follow and watch and share the show and we just love that in our community. So say hello who you are, where you're from, go ahead and hit some loves, ask some questions because as you ask the questions after the show is over, I'll be able to answer them. And the other thing is, is that you want to um, just go ahead and just hit that share button right away. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get started. So what we're going to do is we've got the um, Instant Pots heating up. So we're going to let them get a little hot because we want to get them really super hot when we, um, uh, we're going to do a little bit of browning of the fingerling potatoes. But let me show you what we have in the slow cooker behind me. We've been cooking it. It has one more hour left. Um, let me show it to you what it looks like. It's beautiful. And so how I created this recipe, we're doing it exactly the same way in each of the devices. So with this slow cooker, I'll pick it up and show it to you. It's just so beautiful. We'll take a look at it. And I've stirred them occasionally. They were really nice and brown when we got started, uh, which is gonna be wonderful for how they, how they will taste. So let's go ahead and share with you the recipe. Just get a wooden spoon so I don't make so much noise with the other ones. So what we want to do is, in this particular, in the Instant Pot, what we're doing is we're going to be doing the dairy-free version um, and the vegan style. And we're going to do, in this one, just more of the traditional non-vegan. So what we have here is we've got some garlic that we started off with. We roasted it in this garlic pan and I actually put in quite a bit of um, olive oil into the into the pan when we roasted the garlic so that we would have a little bit extra garlic infused garlic olive oil. So that's what we're looking for and this is definitely hot. I can hear it popping. So we're going to pour that in. Let me grab the other one. So this is a very flavorful, very beautiful, all of the flavors are just gonna just blend together. Stir that around a little bit, get all of the olive oil distributed. Perfect. And then you wanna grab your, your um, shallots. What I've done is I've got three shallots that I've diced up and we're gonna go ahead and dump those in. Ooh, smells so good already. Put 
from here. I'd be curious to hear what you all are fixing for holiday meals. I just love to hear what people are serving for their holiday meal. And I do want to say thank you for those of you who asked me tons of questions and, and saw that I was with my goddaughter, uh, goddaughters last week. So we didn't have the show. So I appreciate everyone's grace in that. So now we want to add in, what I've done here is I have some organic rosemary that I've taken the scissors and just chopped the leaves up. And I've taken some organic thyme. And so we're going to dump that in so that that gets moved around. Our, our finger lean potatoes. So I've gone ahead and washed them and we want to get them brown. So we're going to brown them for about uh, five minutes. And those of you who are wondering where the recipe is, after the show is finished, um, I will edit the movie and add in the recipe. So you don't have to worry. It's all written down. Get those nice and coated. In just a minute, we're going to be adding in some butter as well. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. So good. Okay, now let me go ahead and add in those two other spices that we're going to be using. We're going to be using, um, you can do a, a Italian, um, organic Italian seasoning in the come shop with Michelle which we actually aired today because our, our wigs kind of got away from us. Um, I used the herbs of the Providence, but they actually didn't put them in my, it, after I bought them, I didn't realize they weren't in my bag. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it happened to me. So we don't have those, so we're just going to go ahead and use the Italian ones, which is going to be fine, especially since we have the, um, oh, and we're going to use um, cumin as well. Add those, that in. I know some of you, if you're brand new to the show, you're wondering why I'm not measuring. I actually don't measure my spices, but I do give you proper measurements for the recipe. Okay, wonderful. Let's we'll take a look at that while it's browning. I know it's very loud, so you won't be um, this loud but for very long. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the dry spices that I use that were not fresh. What we always try to do in our kitchen, and it's really an important thing as you're starting to cook or if you've been a cook for a long time, one of the things we love to do is we find um, spices that are organic and they have this symbol as well. And it says non-GMO. So you want to have non-genetically modified organisms whenever you're cooking, whenever it's possible. Because we don't need to put genetically modified food into our bodies. Okay, so in the in the Instapot, we're going to be adding Earth Balance. I have this Earth Balance soy-free, vegan, non-GMO. It's a buttery spread, so we're going to add two tablespoons to the pot. Well, I'm getting right down to the end of the jar. <laughs> Perfect. Cancel. And now we'll hit cancel here. Okay, 
Now comes the fascinating part about this recipe. I think you're going to love it. And I realize I don't have it sitting out, so I need to go get it. I um, had chopped it up earlier and I left it in the refrigerator, so let me go run and get it. It's the avocado. Um, hold on one moment. Okay, so I've diced up a, uh, an avocado. We're going to add it because it's going to add such a nice creamy texture when we take these potatoes out. Um, if, if it hasn't completely dissolved into the broth, then um, what we'll do is we'll use a little bit of a um, puree. I'm going to make sure it's pureed, but it should, should emulsify very nicely. In fact, if you saw when I had the crock pot out, it was near, you couldn't, you couldn't even see it. But what I love about this avocado is that there are, I've seen a lot of recipes with fingerling potatoes and they'll use a cream or a coconut milk, which are fine. Um, but what I love about the avocado is just a really healthy, rich, um, fatty, um, beautiful for our bodies. It's just, so, it's just so wonderful. So it'll give a real creamy texture, um, but in a healthy way. So good. All right, now it's time to add our liquid, and actually, we're going to be finished with the recipe. It's just that easy. The only thing I'm missing is some salt and pepper, so I'm going to grab that. So we use pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to give it a little bit of a... And we're going to use some fresh ground pepper. Now what you will do is when you're serving it, you may add just a little bit more salt again. Or some of the additional herbs that I have here, and I'll show those to you once we get the pots covered. Okay, so we are going to need one cup of broth. If you're doing the vegetarian style, we have a vegetarian broth. This is one of the ones that I love, uh, Pacific, and we're going to use a cup. So if you um, happen to be traveling this holiday season, please be safe and I would love for everyone to have just an incredible holiday. And I can't wait to hear or see what you put down as far as some of the traditions that you actually do or things that you cook for your family on this holiday season. All right, and then in the traditional, we're gonna go ahead and use a chicken bone broth. This one I love because it's organic and it's no salt, it's unsalted. So I love Pacific for that reason, so good. And I just love bone broth because bone broth is, well, it's good for our gut, but in addition, it just adds such a beautiful, rich, complex flavor to any dish, any meal that you're creating. Um, but this vegetable broth, if you stay with the vegan, vegetarian side, it is just absolutely as flavorful as well. Okay. So we're ready to go. What we're going to do is just set the Instant Pots. Set the Instant Pot to both the Milky Pot and the Instant Pot. We're going to set it for 10 minutes, so we want to grab our lids. We're going to do it on a manual. There we go. Make sure that you have the dial and the ceiling position. Lock it into place. And we'll do the same for the Milky Pot. And that just tells you you're locked into place and ready to go. And so we're going to hit the manual, we're going to hit it for 10 minutes, and you'll do a quick release of, of the steam. And what I love to do is I like to take the potatoes out and get them prepared to serve. So we're going to do two things. We'll take them out, and I'll take pictures of it as well. So we'll take them out, make sure that the broth is very nice and concentrated, so you may have to take an emulsifier and just emulsify it so it's nice puree, because you're going to only use a quarter cup of that broth. You're going to pour it over the top of the potatoes, and then you're going to take some chives. We're going to dice up some chives and dice up just a hint of tarragon. So we're going to do that. I'll take pictures of it when we're actually ready to serve. And then we're going to add in what I love to do in finishing. It's just such a beautiful way to finish off a recipe. Um, add some of the extra um, leaves of your um, herbs that you've used. And then take a grater and zest a little bit of lemon on top. 
so wonderful. It makes everything just taste so fresh and so beautiful. So we're gonna do that. And in addition to that, what we're going to do is use our Parmesan, well, for the vegan style, for the vegetarian vegan, we're gonna use our dairy-free Parmesan style shreds. And then for the traditional one, you can use regular Parmesan cheese and do a fresh grape because it just makes it so much more special when you actually do those little things mean everything into a meal. It's just a, a beautiful way to be cooking. And that's it, that is the recipe. I think this is gonna be the quickest show we've ever done in our entire history. But that's what I love about sides, they're so easy. So I will tell you this, if you missed the show from two weeks ago, we did a risotto and we did a vegetarian risotto and a regular risotto, but we did it with some chicken sausage and it was my husband's number one recipe in the entire creation that I've ever created um, that I, since I've started the show. Um, he just thought it was the bomb. He's like, we have to do this again. And the one before that, he's like, well, you know, we're gonna be debating on whether we're gonna do these for the holiday meal or we're gonna do the scalloped potatoes. So we may end up winning out with both, maybe scalloped potatoes on Christmas Eve, and we'll do the uh, fingerling potatoes on Christmas Day. But we're all, we haven't decided that yet. So I'd love to hear your traditions. Please don't forget to say hello, who you are, where you're from. I'd love to say um, happy holidays to every single buddy who's watching and those that share this. Um, video. Remember when you share, you get a chance to win a special gift. When you say hello, who you are, where you're from, we're going to start doing some other things that are just really a beautiful thing. Nice, nice little spirit of giving things away. So over there, I actually have, and, and now I've decided that we're going to need to do both Milthy and Instapot because the Instapot family is getting a little, um, uh, I think they're a little sad that I'm not sharing that Instapot as much. So Actually, I love both pots so very much. So in addition, I just love our slow cooker. So let's go ahead and we get who shared two weeks ago. I've got all the names over there in the hat. So we'll see who actually wins the milky pot. All right, these are the names. There weren't very many names. So there are quite a few people in here that have shared pretty consistently. And one of you are gonna be very, very excited. And then some of you who have shared all the time, you didn't, and I was like, oh my gosh, what a week they are missing for not sharing. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna not look. Just get rubbing around in here. Good luck to anybody who's, who's out there watching live right now. Okay, I have a name in my hand. And the winner, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, drum roll, Janice Bush. Janice, I know you're probably watching right now or if not, you're gonna catch the replay. But Janice, I'm so excited for you because you have been just doing such a great job on your health journey. Janice is on my team and she is just, she's totally transforming. Those of you who have, I went to school with Janice when I was in um, elementary and middle school and we were really good friends. And so she just kind of started her journey. Janice, I think it's been what, four months that you've been um, on your health journey and I'm so proud. This is gonna be such a great device for you in your cooking, so I'm excited. I'll, I'll connect with you. I'm sure you already connected with me and say yay. <laughs> All right, everyone. So have a very, a very happy holiday. Thanks for tuning in. I think next week, well, my kids get on the road tomorrow morning and I'm very excited. I'm beside myself. My husband and I are just like, doing all these last minute touches before they get here. And we're gonna have them for a total of eight sleeps. So I'm so excited. Um, so I know Friday we're gonna cook something, but I'm not positive what it will be. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna let them make the decision. So how about that? I'll just let them make the decision. We are still on the side, holiday side, but we'll, we'll figure out what we wanna do. So with that said, everyone, please have a very blessed weekend. If you're traveling for the holiday, be safe. Um, share with me your traditions, and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great night, everybody.